and it would just get welcome everyone to another day evening um we're excited to be here for another day that god has given us and um we're getting ready to um start our service we just want to welcome each and every person that's participating, whether you're watching through YouTube or live on Facebook, or you're watching the replay, we welcome you for being here. Um, and we invite the Holy Spirit to um, share the word that he has prepared for us so that whatever um, is being stirred up within our spirit, just know that whatever is in us is also in you. The spirit of God dwells in all of us. So just stay in tune and trust that the Holy Spirit is working and hear and exercise that within yourself. So this is a Bible study where you can ask questions. And if you want to be able to ask questions live, you'd have to join us on the Zoom um, to be able to do that. Other than that, um, you can just um, type your questions in the comment section and we'll do our best to respond to you. So welcome again and we just um, give God glory for the day. So I'm ask Ricardo to pray to start and take it from there. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We love you. We honor you. We magnify your holy name, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for another Sunday evening, Lord God. From Sunday to Sunday is a blessing, and we're grateful, Lord God, that we're able to enjoy another Sunday, mm -hmm. knowing, Lord God, many haven't made it from last Sunday. We pray, Lord Father God, for the lives that have been lost through mm -hmm. so this terrible weather, Lord Father God, and the many disasters, Lord God, that have come and gone, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for your mercy and grace, Lord God, mm -hmm. yes. that yes. this could have been worse. And yes. so could have been so many more lives could have been taken so many more destruction but in spite of those things lord god you saw fit lord god it's your will lord god and we understand it so lord god we ask lord that you will send love and support to all the families lord god. that you will help them get through their struggles and their pain lord god, remind, lord, that it's not your will that anyone should lose it's not your will that that things happen but it's because of our own will. It's because of your grace and mercy that it's, not, that it's never worse. That you're going to get us through it all, Lord God. We thank you for that grace. We thank you for your love. We pray, Lord God, as we continue with this service, Lord God, that you will help us to understand and to see, to keep our minds open and our hearts open so that we can receive your truth. That you will guide us. And that it's not us leading, but you leading. And we follow. Lord God, let it be you that speak and our hearts that listen. We thank you once again. We ask that you will forgive us for our weaknesses. Forgive us for what we're incapable of. And teach us how to be more like you. We love you. We praise you. We honor you. We magnify your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, are we all ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, today's scripture reading will be from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. There will be a, also a few other scripture reading for clarity. I will add that in as we go along. 2 Corinthians? Yes, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. For all the promises of God in him are yea, and in him amen, unto the glory of God by us. My heading for this scripture reading would be holding fast to the promises of God. Holding fast to the promises of God. So throughout the scripture, we have seen God's word being fulfilled. For all the promises of God will always lead to the fulfillment of God's blessing for our lives. Mm. It is important for us to receive God's word the right way mm. so we can hold fast to it. Mm. Why do I say this? A person could receive God's word, but sometimes question the promises of God's word depending on the type of ground the word fell upon. Mm. Bear with me, I'm going somewhere with this. For example, 
God told Abraham and Sarah that they will have a promised child, hmm. which was Isaac. Or uh, we could go into that particular chapter of scripture, or it's in Genesis 18. Yeah. So we could have more clarity, verse 13 to 15. Genesis 18. 13 to 15. Are we there? Yeah. And the Lord said unto Abram, Wherefore did Sarai laugh, saying, Shall I of a surety be a child, which am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? This is one of the angels speaking. At the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have his son. Then Sarai denied, saying, I laugh not, for she was afraid. And he said, Nay, but thou didst laugh. Mm. I will stop right here. So Sarah questioned, and in, in, in and this, what I just read here, me, Sarah, questioned the promises of God by laughing. She heard it, but she did not hold fast to it. Why? Because of doubt. Sarah doubted the word of God that was given unto her. How did she doubt it? It says in the, the 12th verse that Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being old also? To me, what Sarah did, you know, she looked at her present condition. And sometimes we all do the same. We yeah. We, we, yeah. we look at our present condition and all the other things that is a distraction. Yeah. And in return, we lose sight and understanding and our hold towards the promises of God. And in and, and, and doing so, it, it takes us to a place where we question God's word. And in questioning God's word, and I'm saying it's... it's why why we really question God's words? Why we really question God's word? I don't think we're comparing ourselves to 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 the um the faithfulness of God, but rather the faithfulness of man. When we focus on how people do to us or what people do to us or what humans do to us in the way of um, letting us down we portray or we um what's the word um we project that onto god as well because in actuality as we were talking like last week the logical sense what makes sense biologically speaking as well we know that at a certain age a woman can't have a child right so we're basing our understanding based on the level that we're where we are as humans what we know as to be facts so when we use that we project it onto god that's where doubt comes in because it's like well i already know that i can't so how can he tell me who also created the way things are that I'm going to have a child at this age. So there's no, I don't think she's seen it done before. She's probably the first one to have that. Just to understand that God can do anything is where our, our brain cannot grasp that understanding because we only know what we know here in the body. It is a is a lack of a is a combination of what you just said 
and also is a lack of knowledge. It is a lack of knowledge of knowing God. It is a lack of knowing God. What do I mean the lack of knowing God? I think as in that perspective, Sarah didn't know God. So it would make sense. Not to the fullness, not to the point. Yeah, I, I think it's new to her. I would, I, I would say her lack of faith is reasonable, if that's even... Yeah, it may be reasonable, but I think the point that Gladia put on, yeah. which is very well taken, is shadow. He shadow the, 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 the knowing. He put a shadow over the knowing. If I know you, what you are capable of, no matter what come in my way, I am not going to defy you because I know what you are capable of. If we know the power of God in fullness, we will never Okay, put it example. Um, Christ, Christ was on earth. How many believe that he was God? And I'm, as I'm saying right now, is God. How many of us really believe that God, Christ, is God? How many of us really believe that Christ, we go, we make all kind of shame, all kind of um, discussion, all kind of leeway in order to, to um, shadow his own personality because of lack of knowledge. Remember what Christ said to the disciple, to the um, to the uh, to the um, to the um. Okay, for example, not example. When Christ came in, when you want to send the Holy Spirit. Pastor, I'm sorry. Yeah. Can you pull your screen down? I forgot to tell you that. Yeah, we were so involved. What up? Like this? Yeah, better. Um, when Christ came, he put it back, Pastor. It's alright. We can see it's you. Sorry. Right. Oh, you don't see me. You hear my voice. Just listen to my voice. <laughs> That's the best way. Where are we? I'm. I'm alright now. Fine. You're good. Yes. Um. Christ came. When Christ came, even now, Christ came. Mm -hmm. Do we really believe that Christ is God Himself? Are you saying when He came, did we believe? Not only when He came, but even now. Yeah, I'm sure there are, there are many who believe. It's not. Um, we have to go with. Uh, okay, like I could say, I believe. And I'm sure millions of people think like me. So yes. not everyone, but a large, a large amount of people. A large number. Yeah. That is the reason why we come up with the with Trinity. Hmm. This is one of the reasons why we come up with Trinity. We do not believe that Christ is God the Father. So therefore, we, 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 we mix it up. But then again, here's another point. When Christ came, he said he's going to send the Holy Spirit to live on us. How many of us really believe that the Holy Spirit is in you?
You see, it's not Sarah only who, who have that dilemma. It's we now today who have that dilemma. Right. We now today, how many of us really believe that God lives in you? Very, 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 very few. Very few. <laughs> so that dilemma is still with us. And why? Why we, why we have that problem? Just like Sarah have that problem. I think, uh, I think Brother Moses was going to that part. Is We have an inability to see past our face sometimes. <laughs> Uh, 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 Moses, could you come up with? Well, I believe that we, somewhere down the line, we lose sight of the understanding of who God is. That's right. That's right. Well, we've been losing sight from the big, uh, uh, look at Sarah. Now you go all the way, you're talking about approximately uh, 500 years, it's 2000 since Christ came. So you're talking about 2,500 years ago. Approximately. Maybe but we could more. also look, look, look at um, the, 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 the relationship with Sarah and Abraham. And God was kind of new to them, that relationship with God, because when God called Abraham out, you know, from, you know, I'm saying, you know, his family and told him, okay, you know, I want you to go ahead and, 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 and take this road. You know, you went up, I think it was Lot. And, you know, he, you know, he began to you know, reveal himself to Abraham and he would have a covenant with Abraham. I, that God relationship was, was fairly new. So seeing that it was fairly new, it, it, it took Sarah some time to really, not some time, but, you know, it's like, okay, um, I'm having this relationship with God and, and here I'm at, old wrinkled and i'm saying and god is telling me that i'm going to have a child so what i'm trying to say is is you know the relationship wasn't really you know strong in terms of having that faith with god sarah relationship well i, I would i i i i would be i wouldn't be so I, I won't dismiss relationship. I won't dismiss the relation. The, the relationship. Uh, um. I would say also. I would. I would add that even today, it'll be something odd for an eighty-year-old woman. I'm just given to believe if God told her that she's gonna have a baby, even today. So I think that is realistic. A, yeah. Yeah. So I think that even today, even with everything I've seen, if I'm Abraham's age and my wife told me and God told me that Gladi is going to have a baby. I was like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I think we have to take the the consideration of who you're talking to. Right. You, you have to you have to really put your senses. Okay. You see what happened? What happened to Mary? Concerning Christ, she was, she was, she was a virgin, and she you no. Know, what, what happened to Mary concerning Christ? Well, you could go about the virgin. Go about the virgin. Right, she was a virgin. She wasn't. She was not touched by man. Yes, and she was conceived by the Holy Spirit and Christ. Yeah, but I, I won't go there yet. Okay. What happened to Jesus? What happened to Jesus? Uh, what happened to Mary about Jesus? Or about Yeshua? What happened? According to what uh, Moses just finished explaining, or trying to explain, or explaining, Mary was supposed to be the first one to proclaim the deity of Christ. Did she? Uh, 
I mean, why she should be the first to proclaim the deity of Christ. Because she was the first, she got the message from the angel. And not only get the message, she get a contact. Mm -hmm. She get a, a physical contact, I should say. Yeah. Or, or what you mean to say, a uh, first case experience or I yeah, that's right you could say experience and not only experience well you could use the word experience because with every, first, first he, she she's the be, first to bear witness of god's miracle because all right because she experienced it and she 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 thing come to can then come to friction can uh, it become visual then come to visual is not is not a dream now even if he could have said dream but right now he is a child born that's not a dream no more that's reality but did she are you saying she didn't why would christ why would when she came to christ Christ said that my mother, my father, my brother, my everything is those that do the will of God. Why is he his brother? Jesus Christ's brother. Press Christ to go up to the to the to the feast to show himself to the world. I think the dynamics are that not everybody if not they, everybody that 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 also draw us well that's what i'm saying if you're saying mary being who she was as she served and others now the question leaves okay remember when when he says he's from galilee the people of galilee say isn't he the galilean and such yeah 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 no one believes Mary, no one forget believes. about no, forget about no one believe Mary. I'm just giving you that that point. It's no, story. no, no. This, this is a personal matter. No, I'm, I'm giving it a context. It's to say that no, the context of it is not really that. In other words, your context play with what exactly what I'm just saying. Because whether they believe it or not, she should be the first one. To really publish it and not only the first one but first one to even inject to his brother are you okay when you say she should be the first in what way you mean that she should be taken because she did the everything coming to her saying, um, when you're saying she should be the first for instance are you saying that john the baptist should it shouldn't be it should be her doing the job of proclaiming. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying it should be. It should be the forerunner. That's what I was. Thinking. I'm not saying it should be the forerunner, but I'm saying that the credibility of Christ should portray Mary. Mary should portray the credibility of Christ. The only place Christ, a, a Mary, portray. The only place Mary portrayed the credibility of Christ is in the, in the um in in the miracle in the um when he turned the water to wine. When he turned the water to wine, Mary showed the credibility of Christ, and here's what Mary Mary said when Mary said to 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 the disciple to all the others, "Do what he tell you to do." You know, there's a other scripture that has a whole Bible of Mary that we don't. I mean, I know them. I, I know. I I read about them all the time. It's all perspective. I mean, I, I, I read about them. I I read about them. But but the thing is this: to me, I, and I we 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 take Mary as one, but about us, about us. We, 
are you talking to you? Are you talking to you? I mess up so badly. I am ashamed of myself. I mess up so badly. I am I'm ashamed of myself. So uh, um, I would also go back to Gladia about human conception, human, 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 human uh, uh, limitation concerning God. Human limitation. We don't know who God really is. The power of God is not something that we really understood. Just like just like Sarah. So Sarah made that mistake. And after that, he denied. He denied the mistake. In the context that she's too old. But was, he, was she too old? Yes. Yes. In, in terms of in terms of in terms of human nature, and, and listen, in terms of in terms of human biology and nature, biology, she, she was. <laughs> do you see? Do you see? Do you, I, I will go back to Gladia again. I will go back to Gladia again. What is logic to us? Right. Is not logic to God. Right. Right. But I think that's also why God chose Sarah specifically for the the same way that Christ always does things for the dramatics of it, for the purpose of preaching, the power of miracles and is the power of God. The power of God's goal power. is natural, right? So God is supernatural. So what is supernatural is the purpose. So why Sarah couldn't ex accept things because they follow on the natural, even though they believe yes. God. Yes. 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 And Peter, Peter, when well, Peter's first experience with Christ mm -hmm. is he tells them to mm -hmm. that if he trusts, that he'll be able to float on water. That's not natural. That's right. <laughs> but when he comes back to Peter and the, again, when he tells them that you're going to deny. And this, that, so it comes back to what is natural. His natural reactions came back to him, right? right? So we have a struggle with our natural selves. What is to hold on? Because we live in the natural world. We have struggle with supernatural, even in our... Well, I, I won't even say supernatural. I won't even say supernatural because supernatural is, is too much religious. Okay. It's too much, too much religious. To me, to me, these words are used in seminaries. Supernatural. For God is natural, and for those who believe, who trust God, and not even trust God, who know the power of God, is is simple. So all of us really don't know the power of God. The the, 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 the the extreme power he has. Even though we preach about his power, mm -hmm. but yet we really don't have the grips of his power. Yeah. Holding fast to the promises of God. That's right. <laughs> Keep going. Well, we could even go a little deeper into the word in the book of Matthew chapter 13 will give us a little more understanding of what I'm trying to bring to the table. Matthew 13. Matthew 13. Are we there? Then the same day when Jesus out of the house 
and sat by the seaside. And great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat. And the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow, and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon the stony places where they had no, not much earth, and for wit they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But others fell into good grounds and brought forth fruit, some 100-fold, some 60-fold, some 30-fold. Who had ears to hear? Let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom, but to them it is not given. Not right. Well. For whosoever had to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever had not, for him shall be taken away even that he. Therefore spake I to them in parables, because they seeing, see not. And hearing, they hear not. Neither do they understand. And in them is the fullness of the prophecy of Isaiah, which is said, by hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have closed. Lest, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I shall heal them. But blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them and to hear those things which hear and have not heard them. Hear ye therefore the parables of the soul. I closed right there. That's explained it. That's his self-explanation. That's his, that's it, that's 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 his self-explanation. And I would I would put it a direct to the word. We have, we have a, that's why I put a lot of emphasis in word. Oh, people are talking, but we don't hear what the person said. Why we don't hear? That's a good question. Why we don't hear? Because we don't perceive what we're hearing. We just actually, you know, you know, we're there, but but are we really listening? It, we just it's like sounds just coming in, but we we not listening. Sound is coming in. We're not listening. There are what what caused this? Number, you give one reason already. We are not here. That's one. What caused this again? What caused we are not here? Sometimes our thought patterns are so distracted. You know, it, 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 it You know, we, we, we could be sitting down. It's just like going, back, going, in, in, you know, just taking myself back. You know, in school. You know, you could be sitting down, being taught by the teacher, and everything that that teacher is telling you at that time, you know what I'm saying, you're not 
reading into it because your thoughts is somewhere else. <laughs> I had an experience. And when your thoughts are somewhere else, how could you understand what you know is really being taught to you by the teacher? And that, and that, in actuality, that's what happened when 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 we supposed to be obeying the word as 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 children and as believers and walking in faith. We can read this a, a thousand times, but if our heart and minds are somewhere else, you know, what I'm saying it's not applicable. Is a is a is a situation that I had the experience, but I am not going to tell you about it in school. <laughs> that happened in the class where I was, in the classroom that I was uh, in that school, not primary school, it was a college school. Okay. Uh, it happened exactly what you tell, but I'm, I'm leaving it alone. <laughs> exactly what you said now, uh, it is exactly what happened, what I experienced. And I tell you the truth, that a student Made the whole class shock, and I was shocked. I was shocked when 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 the professor called him and asked him that question, and he was not even there. But he mentioned something that he was he was he was contemplating, not knowing what he's saying, and that make everybody shock. Anyway, in those cases. Sometimes we occupy with ourselves. And um, sometimes we occupy to ask questions. And um, sometimes we occupy by not pay attention to what the person is saying. And um, sometimes we do not know the word, the meaning of the word the person uses. So is a lot of factors coming in that playground. Lot of factors. Again, I will go back to Gladia again. Limitation of human being. I think long time ago you said something which I, I am very, um, very fond of it. You say something which I talked to it already. Let us reason. Reason. What is reason? Reasoning is, is, is bringing your ideas together. It's a body of people coming together and having discussion, you know. And it's not about to say who's right or wrong. You know, we, we, we sometimes, you know, the information that you bring and the information I bring, and you know, I'm saying, add to the discussion in such a way that, you know, everybody's being edified by it. Yes, but then if I come with a, 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 a opinion or whatever you call it, you don't listen to my opinion. If you come with an opinion and I don't listen to what you are saying. Then we're not having a discussion, we have an argument, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 see the, you see the confusion? Right. That's the confusion we have with God. We don't pay attention to what he's saying. And therefore, the book of Matthew, Jesus Christ put it clearly there. Christ put it clearly there. Is it time to reflect it? Anytime a person talking, you now, you have to be, you have to be able to stop your thinking for a while and pay attention to the word that come out in his or her mouth. And you have to be able to bring that word back to her or to him. So she or he could reflect to what he said. By doing so, you too, that person have to do the same thing to you. So vice versa is a is a is a game player, but everybody is is interpreting or uh, in your computer, and which is your spirit, your mind is interpreting you. 
what you really mean, what you really want, what you really say. This thing is, is a profound involvement which take all of you, all of you. So what Christ said now in the book of Matthew, I think you should read a little bit of it again. In the last part, Matthew chapter 13. Where, what verse do you want me to read from? Um, look at the, the interpretation of Christ according to what he said. I missed that. What you say? Look, listen to the interpretation, the interpretation of the parable itself, because he give the disciple the inter he, he, he interpret the, the he, he give the meaning of all what he said. So verse eleven, where it says, "Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given." For okay, so why is not given? So for whosoever has to him. For whosoever has, to him shall be given. That is chapter 13, right? Yeah. Matthew 13, verse 11. Mm -hmm. Um. I will go a little deep, little, oh, oh, okay. Let's go to... Verse 13. Verse 13. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing, see not, and hearing, they hear not. Neither yeah. do they understand. Go ahead. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which said, By hearing you shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing you shall see, and shall not perceive. Now, they see there, there is another context in that passage, you know. There's another context in that passage, you know, which is in the Old Testament, because which is in the book of Isaiah, anyway. Uh, but I won't go in that context, I leave it alone because it's going to be a little confusion if I put that context into it. Uh, the person see and yet is not see. How could we how could we relate that to us today? What a, what factors or what experience we we see happen now among us today? Because that time is about two thousand years ago. Those things was talking. How we could put it relevantly to us now? I believe Christ wants us, you know, in 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 in, in relationship with the, the scripture, he wants us to see it was right there, just lose it. You see it disappear. Yeah, when he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. It was right there. That's why when he come, you come, you you put it out, you still put it out right away. It it just faded. Yes, yeah, I know. He just want, in fact, myself too. He <laughs> uh, want us to, okay. We, um, today we accept Christ as our savior. Um, what do we see? Those that are follow hate and those that are follow love. What contrast do we see? Mm. 
Well, those that follow hate, we, we see that the, the, the life uh, not totally balanced in terms of, um, of, of having joy and peace. You know, they, 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 they're uneasy, they, they, they're miserable, and they may have a lot of things going for them, but yet they, they don't have that peace. But those that fall in love, you know what I'm saying, you know, just going back to what we spoke about last week, you know what I'm saying, there's a measure of peace that comes when you, you have love, when you demonstrate love, when you give love when love is surrounding you, you know and I'm saying you're able to, to blossom in, in, in different aspects of your life and, and people can see that, you know what I'm saying? But those yeah. who call it remember, hate remember, us, remember, 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 you use the word right now. People could see that. Right. Do they really see? Yes, they do see it. Because there's 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 a difference, you know. It, you know, if 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 you are a loving person, there's 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 an aura that comes out from you. Yeah, but do they really see? Hmm. Need to break it down a little bit more fast. They see. They are not seeing. They are talking about it, but they really don't see it. Is that peace, is that love, that peace is private? Is it love and peace is private only? Okay. But in your demeanor, it, 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 it tells the difference. I understand, I understand, I understand. Now, I'm not talking about the person that have the peace. Right. I'm talking about the person who see the peace. Okay. Does that person really see the peace? No, they can't see it because it's personal, as you said. It is. It's a yeah, internal. they don't. You I see. The question. Go ahead. So, why they why they didn't see it? Why what caused that they didn't see it? Um. Would somebody give the answer before I give before I inject? <laughs> no, that's questions to you. <laughs> God have mercy on me. <laughs> that's a center yourself on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, according to Christ and according to what I know, that the person occupy. To what logic mean according to gladia to what human logic is he is not occupied about you for that person to see that there should be a change on that person the reason why he can't see it because that person focus in her or in him alone and in the situation in which that person is or that person hall. Whatever the situation he or she is, this is what she concentrated in. But she's not concentrated in what happened to you. Even though she seemed to see what happened to you. But she, she still not follow you. He's still not following you. What do I mean by not following you? What do I mean by not following you? Another word. Go ahead. They not they they because they not well because the reason why they not following him is because first of all um where we read uh uh the words the word the uh since in the beginning that, that's how our answer is. Mm -hmm. It's in the beginning. 
God already know who who her is? Yes, I don't go. I'm, I don't think I'm going to go there because that is a. This is the context I was going to take before, and I leave it alone. Okay. Because we take that context for excuse. We take that context for excuse. That means I am, I am a human. I, I, you know, I, I'm 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 just a human. You know, it's excuse. Let's put it that way. Can it be a, a self of wow that make them? Uh, well, that's, that's the same thing I'm saying again. It's the same thing. The, what I'm saying is this: is that because we, I, if I see something good happen, okay. Let me let me uh, let me put it this way. If if you going to you go you see. You want to see what I'm saying exactly right now. Gladia, I'm I'm taking Gladia. If Gladia in the neighborhood is my neighbor, she's my neighbor. She go to a store and she find good sale, very good sale, and then she come and then she tell me, and I see the sale in her hand. What? What kind of what question would I ask Gladia? Uh, I didn't. If Gladia go to a store okay. and find good sell, good things, I mean very good price. Very good price. But she come in, in the neighborhood where I live together with her over there. And then she show me the good chair, the good chain. What was what is the question would I ask Claudia after she finished showing me? You will ask her where is the store? <laughs> that's 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 simple. Right. That's simple. You will ask her where you get that good deal. If you see I am exercise love, I am exercise peace, and you probably know some of the situation I am. You will ask, where did you get it from? <laughs> <laughs> and, in, and, and, and in return, I will say, okay, let, let, let me take you to my savior. <laughs> do, you, do you see my interest is nothing about you? At all, no more. Right, right. Um, I see it, but I don't see it. In fact, you explain it to me, but how do you explain it to me? By exercising the peace. You are advertising it. You are advertising the peace mm -hmm. that you right. come. Right. This is advertising, but yet, they see, they don't see. In fact, what they might say, either you're taking job, or you are crazy, or you are out of your mind, or you are insane. Psychologically speaking, you're completely out of order. <laughs> and then they dismiss you and then they go about their business. They stay in the head. They stay in the, in the, in the, in the where, 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 what, what they usually do. So they see, and yet they don't see. They don't understand. So what you say, they, they have, there needs to be a demonstration of, 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 of what you feel. No, you've been demonstrated already by... Okay. That's it. By the time that you are displayed, that means you are giving demonstration. Okay, okay. From the time that you, 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 especially, 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 especially people that are very close to you, they know some of your oppression. They understand your, your point where, 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 where you are. If you call, if you come in. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
And let me give you, let me give you a, a, an experience I get. I went down to Brooklyn to check about my tax. While I am coming on the plaza, downtown Brooklyn in the plaza, I saw a man just finish inquire about tax in the inside. He's coming out. He's coming out and I'm coming in. When we reach before the, the door, is a revolving door. We come together. He's inside and outside. I push the door, he push the door coming out and I push the door in. When he come out, when he reach to the plaza, right? The man yelled, why, why, why? I, he making such a noise that I, you know what I said to him? To say, what, you know what I said, come to me? Man, they got you real good in that tax business. They really got you. Because that's only the so, reason why you, do, you could not deal inside. So you wait when you go in the outside to 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 explore another way to release yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. You go out to release yourself. So to me, automatically, I said, "Mine now. I am going down there, and I am going to get mine too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get mine too. Now they don't drill me yet, but they finish drilling real good. How about taxi war? And when you go outside, he scream." He screamed, poor guy. They may say he's crazy, but I know where he came in from. I have experience where he's coming from. He comes from a place they want to drill you. <laughs> so therefore then, if a person pass through and you experience it, you see what the person passed through, but yet you see the peace with that and the person, how he cope with the situation, how he deal with the situation, at least ask the person where where you get that. If I was in your shoe, I would be crazy. I think that's the message that uh, Moses is bringing, be, meaning holding fast to the promises of God. That's right. He's going to lead you to that peace. That's right. That's right. So the real that's question right. is, what are the promises of God? That's right. That's right. That's right. When you understand the power of God, God said, now, what Jesus said, what Yeshua said, this is a promise. This is a promise right now, Yeshua said. I will never leave you, nor forsake you. Amen. This is a promise. I will never leave. How many of us really know that Wherever we are and in any situation we are, Yeshua is here with us. That's the promises right now. Now, how many of us believe that we will never die? And that's a, that's another promise. That's another that's another gift. That's why people are afraid to talk about death. Because they don't want to die. They're afraid of it. Should we be afraid of death? We're not going to kill ourselves. We're not going to put ourselves in the in the in the in the line of killing or whatever, because that's what love, love is not about killing. Love is about living, not about dying. Therefore, I'm not going to endanger myself. I'm not going to die before my time. I'm not going to sit for time, but I know when the day come for me to leave, my father is waiting for me. I think, I think it's natural that everyone's afraid of dying but it's it's because of it's not so much you have a lack of faith in what's to come it's because your body has been pre has been primed to prevent yourself from dying where a natural reaction is 
is to self-preservation. Well, that's what my dear beloved brother is trying to break out. Yeah, I think the, 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 the key is to know, to have a peace of mind after knowing that you can't avoid death. So it's like in the process. No, no, this is what Gladia um, um, inject from the very beginning. That's what Gladia inject from the, which is, which we are taught calling when Sarah, when Sarah, that's a natural thing that she's old. That's a natural thing. So to me right now, I am not living in natural way of logic of human being. No, I'm saying that we are, we can't, we're, we're, um, we can't resist the nature of... Well, it is, no, it's not we can't resist it. We, are, we learn to, we learn to adjust. It. I know that. I know we learn those things. No, and it's, it's, it's part of me. No, I'm saying because of me. the face of Christ, we teach ourselves to go uh, overcome our nature, meaning that our nature is to have fear. Our nature is to not believe in what we can't see. I understand that. So, I understand. This is what my, my dear beloved brother Moses is driving at with now, to go above what we are in this nature. This is what brother Moses is driving up. Hold on on the promises of God. This is above the capacity, the ability. So therefore, that's why we inject that word power, God power. That's why we put God power. In other words, you come up with that word, which I let me put out because it's a school word, well, a, a supernatural, a supernatural power. But we don't play with that supernatural power because the Holy Spirit of God is in you. And so since you have the Holy Spirit of God, the only thing you have to do, according to Moses, is to hold on. Yeah, but holding on is one part of it because they, you know, Seeing that we, we, we are human beings, we, we are frail, and our nature is... is it's frail. It's, it's, it's frail, but, you know, today we're strong, tomorrow we're weak. And you can know as much as the Word of God as possible. Memorize scriptures, and I'm saying... That's nothing. And, 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 and yet you, you don't hold on to, to all the things that you know that God is able to do. But the word said he can do exceedingly abundantly of a whole that he we may ask or think. And and I believe at times, sometimes we we, you know, I, I can speak on my behalf as a, a newborn babe, you know what I'm saying? When I had um, you know, get into the, um, Christianity and stuff like that. I was zealous. I was fueled up, I was memorizing scriptures, I was, you know, I'm saying, you know, you know, excited. And 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 somewhere going upstream. I dropped the ball a little bit. I got distracted. You know, things coming, you know, temptation, trials, and I'm, and just going back to the word when when he said, um, I believe it's where in, in Matthew, when tribulation and persecution comes in. Yeah, know? but we have to be careful. We have to be careful. Because in that same book of Matthew, he told us what would happen if the seed falls. In the Bible, that's true. Same place, but if he fall in the good ground, you bring forth fruit. Right. So therefore, to me, I'm sorry to say, I'm sorry to say, my brother, I I should say that, but I have to say, it. I'm I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say, it, as if I become some Lord of mercy one day. I call that cliche. I call that cliche. Mm. I call that excuse. Right. That's excuse. Just to <laughs> just to excuse. Just excuses. Yeah, this is pure excuses. Right.
God is not dealing with a dead body or dead people. And anything that dead, once God enter into it, he bring alive, he become life. Anything that dead, anytime God inject himself into it, he bring alive. Why? Because God is living. Right. He's okay. not going to stay in a dead place. So whosoever as I am not worried about falling. That's not a big deal. Falling is not a big deal in God's schedule. But it's to pick up and get back where you come from. Stick fast. That doesn't mean you're not going to fall. I fall. I go down the dream. I make rather boo-boo about myself. But that doesn't put me out. <laughs> I'm just keep on fighting. I mean, I mean, I'm limping, but I'm out. <laughs> I'm still there going on. Because our Heavenly Father is a living God. Amen. And wherever he is, in the book of Revelation, what he said um, is like a thing. He said, my Heavenly Father don't let people look warm or look cold. Is it that you hot or you cold? Either you hot or you cold. It's too much. Hot or cold. Uh, this morning, this evening, I, I, I dropped my ball ball. I dropped my, my, my ball ball. You see, I, I'm talking and I'm seeing experience right now to me. Um, I, I'm saying that, you know, but I have to say those things because these things you see, you must talk about what you see. Gladia, call me. Why Gladia call me? Gladia, why did you call me? Uh, to ask about the meeting. What did I say? Uh, that you forgot. I dropped the ball. I dropped the ball. But at the same token, I saw Gladia is in the ball. That's what I saw. But when she dropped the ball, when, when she contact with me, did I give excuse about dropping the ball? Or did I say, okay, let's go? When she said we could postpone it, what do I say? We got to go. All these things are maybe little things. They may be little thrilling things. It, it may be an insignificant thing. But these things have to be picked up. That's why like when you see, you see, when you see things happening, you acknowledge it right away. It may be little, it may be frail, it may be, but this is, this is what it is. This is what this is what happened to Christ. That's why they didn't see Christ, who he is, because they say, "Ah, that's nothing." Everything that happened to us, everything that happened to us, God probably put her here for a reason. And one of the reasons I would say is to push me, to give me a key. To wake up. That this is what I see. But when I see it, my candle catch up right away. But go back to the book of Matthew, you see, you don't see. What are we looking for? Are we looking for an obvious thing? Some big thing happened, some big uh, demonstration happened before we see things? Any little thing caught in the size of God. It's always sometimes the little things. No, no, okay. Any little thing caught in the size of God. 
That's why I'm going to quote that verse. I can't quote it exactly because he said, anything that God gives you to do, do it with all your might. Any little thing, and in fact, there is no little thing in the size of God. So, to me, we must open our eyes as Sarah and see what happened to Sarah will not happen to me. And if it does happen to me, when somebody come in and pick, put it on, I must not find a cliche to put, to put, to, to excuse. I must face it on and then move on. Hold on to the faith. Hold on to the promise. How do we hold on to the promise? By exercising it. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Pure and simple. And at that time, what should be all oh, what should be all oh, um I can't I can or composure or or demeanor. What should be our demeanor? I use the word demeanor. I don't think uh, people, anybody have problem with the word demeanor? I mean, what is our priority? Yeah, why demeanor is, it has deal with priority, but it deal with something. Attitude. Yes. Huh? Attitude. Attitude. Okay. Our character. Our character. Athlete. Our ways state of, of living. State of mind. State of mind. State of, especially, that's a very, that's a very good, <clears throat> state of mind. State of mind, that's a very good one. It hit, it hit hard. I think a, a lot of our problems also stem from just knowing and not doing, you know? Yes. yes. That's, that's the way. We procrastinate, right? Yeah, it's always yeah, yeah. I know, I know, and it's <laughs> yeah. I'm doing or I'm living it because yeah. it's so bad because the I know seems to be I'm doing when it's not. It, 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 it dominate everything. It, the question exactly though, what should be our de, uh, demeanor towards what? Say that again. What was it? What was the, the full question, though, you said? What should be our demeanor in... And pick up. The promises of mm -hmm. God. The promises of God. And, and and it's not only understand, but also act upon it. Meaning, okay, meaning after we have received the promises of God, what should be our demeanor? Or knowing the promises of God, what should be our demeanor? Uh, it bo it's all about is after knowing and seeing. Well, uh, I guess I, and, and, and not only that, I would use the word understanding it too. Okay, so I think if you mean to say um, that if we have a true sense of what who we are towards Christ or what Christ is to us, well, not who we are per se. I, I don't dismiss that word. I was I was referring it to when John says we know that we we know we may not know whatever I'm sorry I'm paraphrasing um that we, we know that now we know we are the child of God yeah. but not only know because that would be knowledge yes. but experience the power of God I think Christ the answer to that question is because if you acknowledge how Christ's demeanor is, that is our demeanor. It should be our demeanor. Is to yeah, but Christ, our de that should be, but he's not. not. Right. That's what. It, that's the answer. The answer that, is, that that should be, but he's not. And this is what we are. We are. We are talking now. This is what I am focusing, and this is what you are focusing. 
This is what every one of us and those who are listening are focusing to be for Demina, the state of mind. The state of mind of Christ was the Father. And not only the state of mind of Christ was the Father, but to listen to what the Father, when Father speak, you know that the Father is talking. Well, we call Christ himself, um, he, go, he went through state of crisis. He went through a state of even despair and a state of, well, or, or, or pressure, anxiety. But within those um, experiences, he calls out to the Father. And he says, and even to the, to, to the likeness of knowing that is his day to come, he doesn't come across with, he acknowledges that this is to come. Pain is coming. There is no way around it. Even af after asking God to bear the cup, um, he acknowledges that this is a, a necessary process, but because he is God, he knows, he overcomes it. And of course, we can't experience that. Yeah, but that again, why, where are you going now? I call it cliche. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I get it, because we can't. I call it cliche. I call it cliche because listen what Christ said. Listen what Christ said. Christ said, I am the light of the world. When he's about to leave, but he said, you are the light of the world. <laughs> Do you see the transfer? The he said, I am the light of the world. I think the point I was making is the one difference is that because God, Christ, God is man, God is so, so do I, so do you. No, wait, the difference is so do you. Oh, what I'm saying that's why the Holy Spirit of God is in you. Christ <laughs> is in you. The difference is Christ does not have to convince himself that. No, I, I, I don't convince myself. Well, you, 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 I, I don't, I, I, please, my brother, that's a cliche. No, no, let me say this. I don't convince. I don't confess myself I have the Holy Spirit. The reason Christ has to do that is... Actually, Christ, the Holy Spirit convinced me. Yes, but... He is in me. Christ does not need to be convinced. He's, he's, what? What? He gives you a Holy Spirit to... No, listen, listen to this. J Jesus Christ, in the Old Testament, in the Old Testament, right? There is a verse who said, Christ um, loves us. He saw the human and he loves us. Christ loves us. He delight in us. That's in the Old Testament. You will find that verse. Christ delight in us. Now, when the mission come for him to um, as you put it anyway, not you, I shouldn't say you. Sorry, I cannot say you. As God revealing to you, to amend it is on law. To, 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 to do his own law according to his own knowledge. He freely did it. So therefore then, he knew while he was here, the pressure that we are getting because he left he come down here to experience what we are experiencing i think the point i was simply making is that christ is the all-powerful all-knowing lord creator of all things of course the difference between us and him so his our trust is in him that that's what makes us to be like him but the difference between no sir, it, no, no. Because it was, uh, really, do we really trust in God? Well, that's what I'm saying. If you were the all-knowing, all-powerful Lord Creator, you would not need to be convinced. That do you really? Do I really trust in God? You have no. That's that's the point. The point is you. Have do to, I really trust in God? I believe so. Everything that I am is only come from Him. 
everything that I am. I have no part in it. If I am talking here, don't think Brother Saint is a superman. Don't think I, 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 I have more faith than you. Don't think I have more trust God than you. Don't even, don't even, don't even think about it. God is the one who is doing whatever he is doing in me. No matter what. To God, to God, Jesus Christ be the glory. Uh, what I'm saying is, I don't doubt you trust God. I'm saying you don't, I, I don't say I don't doubt. I don't even talk about trust. Okay, so what I'm saying is, you weren't born knowing God. You had to. I, I, a man, don't even go there. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm just. That's... If I am what I am, it's only by grace of God. If I become God's child, before I was born, you already chose me. Before I even exist. In fact, he knows all my members. He knows for what I was born, for what he put me there. And whatever coming up, my brother is nothing. If anything come to me, it's only because he does it. Period. Nothing else. In fact, I am more wicked than you do. I am more evil than you do. But yet, listen to what he said now. Oh, listen, listen to what he said now. He said, I choose the foolish things of this world to confront the wise. The thing that is vile, thing that is vile, which is dirty, finish to make the world to know something. So I am nothing but God handiwork. Nothing more. Nothing more. Nothing more. And so do you. And so do every single one of us. Not only me, but every single thing that exists. He does it for his own glory. I can't take no credit for nothing. I trust God. <laughs> if I trust God, if I trust God, do you take those trouble I pass to, I make my own decision and then I get myself mixed up and I get, I get myself, I can't use the word right now, uh, do you think, and I know God's word. I know the Bible very good. I know the Bible from top to bottom. And I know about the Holy Spirit too, you know. And I was teaching. So to me, it's not a matter of trust God. It's a matter of the Holy Spirit is doing what he wants to do in us. The only thing I think my brothers just said, which is very good, the title, the message, the title of the message. What was the title of the message? Holding fast to the promises of God. Hold on! That's the title. Hold on! What is what do we what do you mean by hold on? There's a lot of definitions. You could cleave to it. You can, you know, you could. Um, I think there's also definitions um, in terms of what seeing. Yeah, but the word the word hold on, I would put one definition in it. What the word hold on mean? To grab, to hold. That's all. That's all. To grab or to to keep keep where you are. Don't let go. Right. Where you are, don't let go. Now, who put you there? Who put where you are? Who put you there where you are? 
actuality, I, I, I don't think we could have get there by ourselves. So God is, <laughs> God is, God is the one that should get all the credit for that. Now you see the the, the title. You understand I'm, it? I, I, I'm too frail. I'm too messed up. Yes, I, so you I, see I, the title. Yeah, yeah. You see the title. He put you there. You hold on there. Right. He told you. He told you that you have eternal life. Your duty, my duty, is to hold on on it. Amen. Amen. He told you that I will never be. I will never forsake you. Never leave you. You hold on on it. That I am the way, the truth, and the life. The truth oh. and the life. Hold on, on it. Oh, don't, 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 don't go to the left. Don't go to the right. That's that's what that's what hold on mean. Actually, hold on. That's exactly what it means. You you hold on on it. Why you should hold on on it? Why should why you should hold on on it? And what prevents you from holding or holding on to it? There's in in terms of me holding on to it. There's 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 blessings, you know, rewards, you know. Bec it, it, I think there's a particular um, I think it's in the, in the New Testament and to talk. I think it was Paul when he was talking about how he run, we run yes. with patience and yes. and and he set his mark to the, you know. The prize or the high calling in Christ Jesus, something like that's that, right? right. Yeah. You know, so holding on, no matter how rough, rugged, and tough, and I'm saying the journey may be, you know, holding on, there's a reward. There's what do you mean? What do you mean by rough and tough? Could you give me more specific? As a believer, and I'm saying, you know, it, it's not easy to, you know, to 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 live. The life that God wants us to live, you know, you know, in terms of obeying the Word of God. They, they, you know, remember we are we are still in the flesh. This is and why we, this is why you come up with a, a, a Sarah, right? That's why glad you come up with the logic of man, right? Which is which makes sense. Well, this is why glad you come up with the difficulty we have. Amen. But all these these difficulties, what is the aim of those difficulties? It's to destroy us. It's to destroy. Now I would quote another brother. I would quote another brother which is passionate and become a victim. The person that become a victim, just as Christ become one. Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King said, I want to live, just let you live. I want to live, just as you. I want to have a life, just like you. And we will have difficulties ahead. I might not get there. But the day will come. When all of us will come together, my brethren, these things, these things are, are, are reflect to every single one of us. The only thing about it that the Lord has shown him his end, and he saw his end. He saw his end. And he is 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 complaining. Well, I won't say complaining. He is he is telling us how is this the same thing Christ when Christ was about to kill, what he said to the Father. Forgive. He said, Father, forgive them. Not only forgive them before before he said forgive them. He said, take that cup. Okay. Why is it take that cop out? Yeah, the moment of human. That's right. It's the same thing to all of us. It's a thing of human. It's a feeling. You see, they, they, that means he saw, he saw the situation. The time come, we must see, just as my brother said, you see, you see things happening. And open your eyes to see it. 
and don't put cliche just see it but when you see it what should we do and most of the time when you see you want to see danger you want to see trouble what do we do when we see that what do we do panic yes we should panic but uh, 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 what should do what we do do what do we do when we see that we see danger avoid yes. yeah. uh, avoid danger you know just turn turn the other way you can't avoid it which is true but <laughs> he's coming you cannot avoid it we build up a sense of depending on go to your father call on him hmm is only him who could help you even though you want to go to it if it is beat so but you want to go to it in peace and in love hmm because he is there with you Don't call nobody else. Yes? Call him. Call God. Call the Father. Call him. Just as who did Christ call? He called his Father. Call on God. <laughs> That's what we have to do. That if it's Thy will, Father, take this cup from That's me. That's right. But it, you know. <laughs> but thy will not my will why why Christ the Lord can to to say not my will but thy will because he understand that his father will is is supreme is 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 is, is, is if, if 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 he put it in his his father hands god is able to help him through the situation okay now that is a beautiful thing what do you see Christ see in god I see what you say what you say makes sense completely for me but again I want it to be more clear, more specific what did Christ see in God in God in the father eternity eternity but what did Christ see in the father his love Yes, it's true. It's true. I agree. I agree. But what did Christ see in the Father? That, it's true. In that particular moment, I think comfort was what he was seeking. Yes, he see comfort. But what what does he see in the Father? What does he see? The truth. The truth is true. It's true. But it's true. You see, all these things are in it. He saw the ability, the power, the magnificent power. That's why Christ come up and said, everything exists by God. Everything is all in all. It's all in all. <coughs> So when you see that power when you see that ability when you see that 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 strength no matter what happen he will deliver you whether you die or not he will do what happened to to Daniel what happened to Daniel It's almost the same concept because he he was thrown in in, in a fiery furnace and it you are throwing me in fire is obviously I'm out that's it so right <laughs> but 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 his faith in God was so maxed out that you know we said whatever happens and I'm saying you know, you know but God was there with him You see the thing is that we have to recognize 
that Heavenly Father is all in all. He's the Alpha and Omega, the voice and the life. That's why I ignore and deny Trinity. I used to be a Trinity and Trinity again, but I am not. Because right now I see God is everything. So when you rely on the Father, people will tell you you are crazy. Why people will tell you you are crazy? Because you're going to be doing things that contradict the flesh. That's right. <laughs> Number one. Now, I'm, I'm sorry to ask you the same question. What is contradict, contradicted? What is all contradicted? Um, what I should naturally do, I don't. And, and what makes it so obvious? What makes it so, so contradicted, really? Because it's the opposite. The opposite, but what really make it so, so, so crazy, so nonsense and crazy? What make it so foolish and crazy and nonsense? What make it so foolish and crazy and nonsense? Our belief. Well, what make it whatever we put in, in God is so crazy, so nonsense, so unnatural? Right. What make it so? What, what is the question exactly? The question is, go ahead. Go ahead. Anybody could, the question. What make it so obvious? What makes it so obvious? Um, uh, contradiction. Contradiction co it, uh, um, uh, about the you are crazy. And glad you come up with uh, we are doing things on uh, supernatural. Something that is not natural. What makes it so crazy? So nonsense. What makes it crazy that we are doing supernatural things? We no, what make it so crazy you get involved in something like this to choose God or whatever you use you made etymology you could buy to, to be in God. Why 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 why, why? Because some sometimes the, the situation that we, we are involved it, it seems so impossible and then well we it's true, it's true, but what really make it crazy? Well, well who I, if you're saying who would what would what, what those who don't believe call it crazy saying those who don't believe may call it crazy so that's yeah but what make it why 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 so crazy because, about that? right because if you don't have faith if you don't believe in well, the it's court, not about it's not right now faith is not really applied well if you have if you if you're talking about it's... supernatural you're talking about what again as you say, you can't see past your... your, your. Right before that, right, listen. This, the answer is plain. We are dealing with unseen. Mm. Thing that man cannot see with their physical eyes. Thing that man, even if he come to his mind, he dismiss it. And when he come to his mind, he come to his spirit, you know what we call it? Psychologically, you know what we call it? What, what term we use that? Illusion. What term we use? Illusion, illusion. <laughs> That's the term we use. Hmm. You're dealing with unseen. That is only you see it. This is why Christ said, Christ said, I'm going to send the spirit of God, the spirit a living you. The world will not receive it. Mm. Why the world not going to get it? Because the world cannot see it. Mm. But you, 
you will see it because he lives in you. But the world has no to see because they, they, you know, I know many of us don't believe. So if 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 we don't believe in something, you know, that we it's not a matter of belief. This kind of thing is not really believe. Okay, it's happened. It happens. It just happened. It just happened. Ask me question how it happened. I don't know. Yeah, right. We don't. It just happens. I just don't know. One thing I know, what I am talking about, I am 100% sure. This is the truth. And the only, the only example I could give you physically, the only example I could give you physically is when you love, you could see the peace and lot of people that love and you could see their action is different from the other side action that's the only thing is that even though it's not even physical anyway but you could see the action the way the person do things the way the person talk the way the person understand thing it is different than the other side and you could see the person doesn't have a, a mean, a mean, uh, um, I mean, uh, something happened to Ricardo's father. And I, I, I take it very, and not only Ricardo father, but it happened to many of us. To many of us. To me, I, 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 I this is very ridiculous. What happened to Ricardo's father is that because he tells something in the church about the tax, they kick him out. <laughs> about the what? About tax. Okay. Or tithe. Or tithes. They kick him out. Wow. Wow. If you say something to me right now here, is that the reason why to say you disrespect me and then for me to know that part of me? I really don't care. Because it's not about me. But there's grounds on how things are said. And, and well, the ground to me, if I am going to pick up ground, I am going to put everybody out. Right. What I mean is like, you know, I would not, you know, disrespect you and 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 in and, and, and whatever way to, to degrade you as a person. It, it, well, it doesn't matter. Okay. I have people who call me, get out of my face. And these people is still, I do whatever I have to do. And I love them. I have people call me devil. Not behind me. In my face. I have people despise me so bad. I mean <laughs> trash. So so what? I'm sorry, it's after seven. I don't know if yeah. you have a conclusion. I'm also yeah, let me make the conclusion. As I close with this. For us to hold fast to the promises of God, the word must grow in our hearts and it must be planted in the right soil and then carefully cultivated with prayer, meditation, memorization, and reflection. Lastly, we must continue to seek the will of God for our lives every day. And we must do so by having a relationship with him, with, with God always. That's right. Well, I will just read the NIV version of um, 2 Corinthians, verse 120. It says, no matter how many promises God had made, has made, they are yes in Christ. Amen. And so through him, the amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. Amen. 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 Hassa, did you want to pray to close? 
Heavenly Father, we do thank you for your words. We thank you again for the Holy Spirit that is here with us, that are teaching us things that you are and show us exactly who you are. Give us here to hear you when you speak. And give us the mind to understand when you speak. And give us the wisdom to apply it in our heart, in our spirit, in our mind to move forward. Give us again, Father, a way out that we could rely on you, not in our own strength. Not on our own decision, because truly, Father, we have made a mistake every single day with our natural life. So we pray in the name of Yeshua to give us the ability to move forward and hold on in what you told us. Hold on. Thank you. In the name of Yeshua. Amen. 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 Holding on to the, holding fast to the promises of God. That's the word for today. And we're grateful to God for showing us how it, what it means to hold on and what the result of it for holding on. Amen. Amen. Life, eternal life is to be sustained in this situation that we're in right now because trials and tribulations as we say is not an exception to us but by holding on to his promises we learn to get through like christ did and raise up again on a in a new way in a new life in a new eternal life this is not real life but hold on to his promises and you will be there so uh we think each and every person that was here with us to participate on this glorious day. Each day is a glorious day. I, I, if I have breath, <laughs> I have grace. Um, so I'm grateful to God for having this opportunity with all of you. Just know that every Sunday we are here at 5 p.m. via Zoom. If you want to have, um, have your questions answered or you want to speak, um, you can um, subscribe to the link and join us live. If not, you're watching us either on Facebook or YouTube or wherever you're listening to us, feel free to leave a comment and we'll do our best to reach out to you. Until then, every Sunday is 5 p.m. Eastern, um, Eastern Standard Time and we hope to see you on our next service. Until then, you guys have a great one. We love all of you. Amen. Amen. God bless. God bless.